Hey friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Becca and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the modern and classic box from Precuts Quilt Shop and Craft. These are monthly sewing subscription boxes that cost about the same amount of money, but the contents differ a little bit. These are for January 2022 and all of the details for how you can sign up will be in the first comment down below this video. Before we get started, I'd love to ask you, would you please hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to this channel? Subscribing doesn't cost anything from you, but it means a whole lot to me and encourages me to keep making videos just like the one you're about to see here. All right, that's my soapbox. Let's get into it. You can see I have two packages here, one that's in a box and one that's in a bag, and I actually have no way of knowing which one is classic and which one is modern. So we're just going to pick one to start with and go from there. Let's go with the bag first. Inside the bag is another bag. <laughs> I'm going to pull all the items out. Oh, I already see a little, little titty bit. This was the classic box and I've got a pamphlet that tells me about everything that's inside this tissue paper. I'll go through the pamphlet as I show you each item so that you can better understand the items that are in the box or bag. Right on top, we have a pair of hemline gold thread snips. These are some spring-loaded thread snips that have a cap on the end that retail for $11. And I actually got these in one of the advent boxes for 2021. And I passed them along to my friend Tiff. And now I have another pair back in my studio. These probably will make a great gift for my mom because she's doing lots of handwork and you can never have enough snips when you're doing handiwork. We also have a small spool of Mettler 50 weight cotton thread. Mine is kind of a gray color. This retails for $4. The pamphlet said that the color for that thread is actually called Ash Mist. Our pattern this month is a postcard pattern. This retails for $2. It is called Cathedral from Villa Rose Designs. It looks like it is a really easy quilt to put together. And it kind of reminds me quite a bit of the quilt tutorial that So Yeah just did called Coin Slot or something like that. I'll link it in the first comment down below this video if you want to check it out. I think that includes a free pattern with a video tutorial. So if you don't want to pay the two bucks for this, you can make a quilt that looks very similar to this by following their tutorial. According to this postcard pattern though, you will get a quilt that will measure 54 inches by 70 inches and your fabric requirements are going to be, you need two two and a half inch strips of 20 different fabrics. So 40 two and a half inch strips all together or a jelly roll. You need three quarters of a yard of fabric for your centers, three eighths or one fat quarter of fabric for your background, and then five eighths yard of fabric for your binding. And then I can't show you the back side of this postcard, by the way, because all the instructions are there and then I will be giving away this pattern for free. They haven't given us everything we need for the quilt pattern, but they've given us a good bit of it. Take a look down below and I'll walk you through what we have. So here's the quilt and I'm gonna show you what they've given to us. First up, we have a fat quarter of some white fabric and they write in the pamphlet that this is meant to be used as the quilt background that will pair with the cathedral quilt pattern and the fabric that they've selected. And if you take a look at this, it's gonna be really hard to see, but these boxes up here, I believe are the background pieces. This fat quarter retails for $3.16. We also have a 5 8 yard cut of fabric that retails for $8.75. This, according to the pamphlet, is to be used for the binding around the outside of your project. We have a full-size jelly roll of Fig Tree Favorites from Fig Tree and Company. This retails for $46. There are 42 two and a half inch width of fabric strips in this jelly roll. And I will say that's one of the things I do like about the pre-cuts box is when they give you a pre-cut, they give you the full size pre-cut. So this isn't a half size jelly roll. It's the full thing that you would buy in a quilt shop. This is awesome. This jelly roll is gorgeous. 
but just showing you the sides doesn't do the fabric line justice. So what I'm doing now is giving you some footage of what this fabric line looks like. This is the Fresh Fig Favorites from Fig Tree & Company. And they write, Welcome to Fresh Fig Favorites, a rainbow of colors created to mix and match to create seasonal projects in endless possibilities of palettes. This is truly our ultimate blender collection a compilation of some of our all-time favorite prints in a classic fig tree rainbow, especially created in order to mix into five separate palettes, patriotic summer, vintage Halloween, classic Christmas, and creamy neutrals. Mix and match the colors to create all of these different seasonal palettes or keep the neutrals and the rainbow separate for two complementary collections. There are just so many options to keep our creative juices flowing that I hope you will join me in this adventure. Be inspired by some of our perfect seasonal projects or get creative with some creative combinations of your own. You're probably not going to need all 42 of these strips. You will have two left over. But missing from this fabric bundle is the three quarters yard that you're going to need. This jelly roll is meant to be used in the pattern as these outer kind of boxes circulating or surrounding all the little blue dashes in the quilt. For the centers of all of these little blocks where you see these little blue dashes going down, you need to bring that to the project. I will tell you, the way this box was originally built, I loved. It was a full project. Everything that you would need to make a project but in recent months, it seems like they've kind of gotten away from that a little bit. They give you almost everything you need and still give you a couple of notions. If I were to offer any advice to pre-cuts, my advice would be ditch the notion, maybe even the spool of thread, and give me all the fabric that I need to make the pattern. You're like 90% there. Giving you that three quarters yard would be great. Or scrap the binding fabric and give me everything I need for the quilt top. That would have been an even trade. I could have kept the notions, had everything for the quilt top, and just got my own binding and backing. Either way though, this is a lovely curated kit and I think it would be a pretty easy project to put together. In the pamphlet, there is actually a block of the month program going on. Block number 12 is listed here, so you can do that as well. And they give you the total retail value for this box listed at $84.21, which does include postage of $9.30. So kind of keep that in mind. I think overall this box cost about $60. So there's a little bit of savings to be had and you do get designer fabric and a good bit of it. So that's the classic box. Let's take a look at the modern box. I've already cut the tape. Let's lift the lid and give you a sneak peek. Ah! <laughs> this is a super cute lunchbox and I actually have another version of this. I just don't remember what box I got it in, but I love it. It's a metal tin. It has a little handle up here. It does not have a clasp closure, so I wouldn't use this to carry things around, but I would definitely use it to store some stuff in my sewing room. Inside of this beautiful tin is all of the things that we have for the modern box. Let's take a look. Before we pop open the tin, I do want to highlight that this is part of the retail value of the box. This is a $12 value. All right, let's open her up and see what's inside. Fabric! Oh my goodness, we have a 16-piece fat quarter bundle of the first light fabric line from Ruby Star Society. I'll go through this in just a moment, but there's a couple other things in the tin that I want to show you. We have another postcard pattern. This one is from Running Dough Quilts and it retails for $2. Taking a look at the pattern, you can see this is what the quilt will look like. Looks pretty simple. For this, you're going to need 10 half yard cuts, or I assume you could do 20 fat quarters or quarter yard cuts. You're also going to need one yard of accent and then three quarter yards of your binding. Now, the way the modern box was billed and advertised, it wasn't guaranteed that you were going to get everything you needed to make a full project. Rather, it was going to be a curated collection of fat quarters. And so they haven't deviated away from that at all. But they have given you some extra notions. So they've given us the tin. And we also have a friction pen. 
Mine is in blue. This retails for $2.50 and there are a number of different colors that I guess you could have got. Quilters love these for marking tools because when you write on your fabric or you mark lines, when you press your block or apply heat, the lines disappear. I'm not a huge fan of friction pens. I've been burned by the red ones specifically, and I've just started using water soluble pens, but these are extremely popular and I know a lot of people swear by them. My only caution to you, if you're gonna use this, make sure you're gonna use it on the wrong side of your fabric and put it in something that's gonna go through a wash cycle to get all those chemicals out so that you don't have to worry about the marks coming back if the project gets cold. Okay, time to look at this lovely Fat Quarter Bundle from Ruby Star Society. This 16-piece Fat Quarter Bundle retails for $46, so this is a good haul. Let's take a look. The pamphlet says that First Light is a collaborative collection amongst all five Ruby Star Society designers. It is a gorgeous sunrise gradient that features lots of lower volume options mixed with more intense pops of color. And how is that for timing? The pink came up right when I said that. All punctuated by several rich black prints and it focuses on the softer shades for more subtle projects and adds more saturated shades for a bit more contrast and oomph. Altogether, First Light is a beautiful, shimmering range that is sure to make all of your projects sparkle. And way to end with the word sparkle in this metallic print. I did not plan that at all. It was just the way the fabric was laid out and the pace I was reading it, it just kind of came together. How cool was that? That was my first take. <laughs> You also have block 12 you also have block 12 in the pamphlet for your modern box so that same block of the month that you get in classic applies to the modern box as well. Altogether the retail value of this box comes to $89.80 and that does include a shipping and handling value of $9.30. So you can do the math and figure out exactly where you are. I think it's $80.50 is the retail value if you take the shipping out of it. What did you guys think? Box one has some fig tree fabric and box two has some ruby star fabric. Which one is your cup of tea? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for diving into the January boxes from Precuts with me. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, and come on back Friday night at 8 p.m. I'll see y'all then. Bye.